All right, welcome back on the O'Connor Hospital Post Game Show. Spartans fall here in Taco Bell Arena, 105 to 57. Now joined by San Jose State head coach Jean Prilo. Uh, coach, it, it, fr from the outset to this game, uh, Boise State, boy, they were just firing all cylinders offensively. They, they got off to that quick start. They, they were hitting threes. Everybody was involved in their offense. Yep. Just a tough, tough monster to tackle when everybody's yeah. firing like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, our league, I just tried to tell our guys, our, league's, our league is really good. Um, and uh, there's a level that you have to be able to play at. But aside from all of that, I'm, I'm just trying to get our guys to focus in on not turning the ball over, as crazy as that sounds, um, because then it would show that at least we can try and move forward. Now, we had 13 last game. I think we had 16 yeah. this game. So we took a step backwards. I just want to try and get the number down and see if we can do that and then move on to the next part of a game. Right. You're talking about an identifiable yes. improvement. Yeah, and the point. reason why I chose that is because that's the, our biggest Achilles heel. Yeah. If you look at the points off turnovers, they had 27. So you're assuming that, all right, every t obviously every time you turn yeah. the ball over, they're basically scoring. In, in this game in particular, though, w was there anything different you, you tried defensively? I mean, just to try and upset yeah, their but, rhythm? Yeah, we tried to go. Z I mean, we tried to go zone in the beginning. That didn't work because we couldn't get we couldn't figure out our our rotations back out into the corner. Uh, then we tried to go man. We tried to go switching one through five. But what you're asking me is to change up or even call timeouts. Oh, you but did. Yes, yeah, but yeah. you know what's crazy about that is even in changing up, it still doesn't solve turning the ball sure, over. Sure. So I could change up and I could go one, three, one. I could go run and jump and press all over the court. Yeah, yeah. But when we get the ball back, if we just turn it right back over, Right, and that 20, exactly. 27 to 7 was the difference in that. Exactly. So to say that, hey, could we change up something to uh, change the flow of the game, it really doesn't matter if we turn – for our for our team, it doesn't matter if we're turning the ball over like that, if that makes sense. It, it, it really well, – that it, is It, it translates into more things happening exactly. as a result of it too. No question. And you, you can't really project out what would be if – Right, yeah. if you never had a chance to shoot it. Sure, sure. Well, I, I do want to ask you about Christian Anigwe. We've talked a lot about him this year, about his development. Uh, yeah. and, and coming off of the bench, had a double-double uh, tonight yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and really played well in times, 12 rebounds, 10 points. Yeah. I mean, in a game where yeah. it, it's a blowout, you, you still want to see yeah. who's playing hard. Yeah, and I thought was. Yeah, I thought, I thought Christian played really well. Um, I'm going to play him a lot more. Uh, the thing that I'm most impressive, uh, impressed excuse me, about is that he had – he had zero assists, but he had zero turnovers. Yeah. So that, you know, the 10 and the 12 is great. You know, 10 points, 12 rebounds, that's awesome. In 30 minutes, that's great. I'm really happy for him. But I'm even more happy for the fact that he did not turn the ball over. It's one of the uh, one of the hard things after a game like this to, to keep the spirits high in the, in the locker room. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, yeah, it's tough. I mean, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> but uh, the, what I'm trying to get our guys to understand is – even though you're upset and you're mad and you might, you know, if I say, hey, do you want to win? And everyone raises their hand and, you know, you got guys that say, I just want to win. Well, if you want to just do that, then you're going to have we got to take it step by step. Step by step is first, let's try and let's try and figure out the turnover issue. Yeah, yeah. And a large part of it are reads that our guys at this point in time should be seeing. And at times they've done it. But we haven't done it enough times, meaning we just haven't executed it enough or been um, consistent uh, is a better word. There's two words that define us. I think it's inconsistency and focus. I think those are our two biggest uh, issues right now. All right, San Jose State falls to Boise State here this afternoon from Taco Bell Arena. That's the head coach, yeah. Jean Prilo. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, game and I, and I want to add to that because I know if I just say those two things, it's just like, oh, no, cause, well, you look at the game, and you're like, oh, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to do that. This didn't happen, that didn't happen. But You're talking about incremental. Yeah, well, what I'm saying is if you look at our game and you see all of these things, it's a function of us not being consistent and not being focused. Right, That's right. the reason why it's happening. All right, Coach, uh, thanks so much. We appreciate it. All right, thanks. Take another break.